starting out a little experiment where we're seeing how effective it can be to run an economy off of one one resource and one resource only of uh, wood. So let's go down our tabs and see where we're at in general. Uh, looks like our government is run by the Ali. Ali, Ali. Ugh, dude, this this nat native Hawaiian is gonna be tough for yours, howly ass over here. Uh, we said we're gonna focus on logging. Uh, obviously we're gonna have some agriculture, but for the most part, it's going to be logging all the way through and then we'll probably get tools and furniture to start exporting all that and then maybe a shipyard or two so academic because we want to go here and then here to get public schools as well as get a university going so that we can educate our people literacy is at 19.9 standard of living was at 10 and pop is at a little less than 2k Wood is becoming very inexpensive in our market, which is good. Uh, we have a surplus. And with this surplus now, I think it's time to start functioning towards uh, tools. And then I think we start building furniture after that. Recently, I got a haircut, as you can see. It's, um, what I learned many years ago, in, in the many years I've lived uh, on this earth, uh, if you want to consistently get the same haircut, obviously go to the similar barber or person to does your hair, but then make them write how your hair, exactly the measurements, like what they like the clippers and the like stuff they do to your hair on the back of one of their business cards, take a picture of the business card, put it in your wallet. Uh, so you have backups, but every time my barber shows up to m I show up to my barber, he's like, what are we doing? And I'm like, Here's this credit. Here's this business card with your handwriting on it, so that you can uh, do exactly the recipe that you've always done to make my hair look this beautiful. I've never been to Hawaii. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's just not something we used to do. I, I grew up in Southern California, and we used to come down to Mazatlan mostly. I think it was just easier and more inexpensive to fly to Mexico to like to have the nice weather. All right, I didn't realize this was going to be our one of our major choke points was people. So we need to get pop growth. The one thing I've seen, I've tried to do several time lapses of Victoria 3. Just interesting ones, like similar ones I did in CK3. And the AI just seems not interested. What does the standard living worldwide look like? Ours is... We're not the... Wow, what is this one state in Siberia? So, damn. Quality of life in this part of Siberia, heck, it's awesome. Compared to the rest of Russia, they're doing things right there. Alaska is doing great. The West Coast is fine. Our state is just okay. 2.5K or 0.25K. I think we can afford that. Um, We're going to do it. We declared bankruptcy. Wonderful. Our building infrastructure should be fine for now um we'll see how this affects our government yeah two point we're still making money that's good all right so if we have a smaller thing we can have at least some convoys that's good we're having money that's fine um what we need to do now is import some clippers um is our relationship still good with all these people or bad oh man all of our relationship has been like Turn back to neutral. We're actually making a whole 141 gold. Damn. Stonks, boys. Stonks. I wish you could not downsize, but like, you know, just like turn off buildings for a little bit. Just be like, hey, uh, we have some vacancies today. I don't know. Maybe that that's crazy to say. I just I want vacancies for a little bit. Uh, our major trade partner currently in rebellion. What are we doing that for, major trade partner? I need you not to do that. That'd be great. Um, well, actually, the new guys, do they like us better? How does radical Great Britain feel about us? Neutral. Well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if we can... Micronesia over here. What are the other little colonizable? Fiji. We could just become a menace to the Pacific. Our literacy started about 19.9% and now we're at 42%. Uh, 
standard of living was 10 We've gone up to 16 pop was uh, nine, 192k and GDP was about like 125. So, so far we are actually being successful. I'm too dumb to find out how this game works. The thing is, it's not too dumb. It's just, there's a lot of cool tips everywhere and you're just kind of like, it's a lot of information you're being thrown at, but with time, I think you can get it. Like if you can play CK3, you can play this game. If you can play EU4, you can play this game. If you can play, if you play Hoi, you can play this game. It's just more economics and stuff like that. Hello. Excuse me, Great Britain? You trying to do a trade agreement with me? Um, what does a trade agreement do? It just means that we get more bu our bureaucracy back. Hell yeah. Um, there goes our economy, though. Uh, <laughs> at least the guys cutting trees are, is, are happy. Yeah. Got to keep those boys happy. We don't have an economy unless they those boys stay happy. I would declare an interest in this area and then get... Ne the ne Netherlands, Belgium, France, and we would trade their heart. The hardwood in their markets wouldn't even know how to deal with it. We'd be the richest wood makers in the world. Uh, we're starting to lose a lot of more money, but as soon as this passes, we should be able to actually cover this cash deficiency. Uh, Lord have mercy upon my soul. Taxpayers, please pay your taxes so the government doesn't default again. No, I don't think a content creator has done a finished campaign. The landowners are going to be pissed, but I don't care. No, there's no way for Pops to immigrate bearing the random culture mass migrations. You should be become subject of a great power. Then you could be a flood of new people. Dog. I would love to do that, but that would destroy the whole our whole economy of building up on just using wood as our main expenditure or our main export. You guys ever play RimWorld where you play in like a hostile area, like a super desert or like Arctic tundra where you have to be like super, obviously we're not very being like so precise with all of our resources, but like obviously I just changed that one thing and now it's thrown all our uh, economy into like a tizzy a little bit. Having interests be tied up with trade is just, I think that's kind of the other thing that I wasn't expecting to be such a uh, bottleneck for us. The fact that we can't just like be trading with other people because we don't or not strong enough prestige wise seems silly. But I think going forward from this, this little challenge we did today, I have a better understanding of how to really work on my economy, what resources are really important. I think before this, I didn't really understand how important a standard of living and stuff like that. Navy is better for power projection than a than a army. Is it really? I guess that makes sense because Britannia w rules the waves. Let's see. We'll do a, a comparison after this. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. If I just had a ships, we could have declared interests this whole time. Well, Kevin, sometimes you gotta eat your own words. <laughs> So this whole time, all we needed to do was build a navy. But could we have afforded to build a navy? That's the thing I don't know. At least we got people coming in. We got the hat. That That's good. All right. I think for now, what we've learned is that you can run an economy poorly off of uh, one resource. Um, what would I do better next time? get our tax rates more effective earlier on. Um, get a Navy because apparently having a Navy equals you can actually declare interest so that I could actually have gotten more people to flood here. Like, all right, let's just be double. Let's just be wild and see how quickly, how much more people uh, come to Hawaii if I join the customs union. Migration is down actually. Migration compared to the average in the British market and may send immigrants to other states in the British market. Uh, actually, it's worsened our our situation for some reason. And other than that, you know, have a good rest of your week. If I don't see you, have a good rest of your life, you know? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, see you on Saturday if I don't see you again sooner. Ciao.